you might as well. He told he told me this. He was like, you might as well take the L on that because the the views are already up. So just take that L, and you know, when we drop this official video, it'll be all good. So I'm like, no, nigga, I ain't finna do that because if we drop this official video, niggas are gonna want to go to see. They're, they're gonna want to go back and see the original video. So let me, you know, what I'm saying, let me um. Show me how to flag these people and take the videos down. So he showed me what to do, like flag, and he helped me out with that. Like, yo, all right, you go here, this, that, and the third, then the, it'll, it'll take it down. I kid you not. The second I flagged those pages, the original video jumped up 400,000 views in two days. So now money is, money is coming to me. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I leave Orlando, and I call this nigga. I call this nigga, and I say, yo, no matter of fact, he called me and was like, hey, we're going to drop the video February 14th. Now, I need y'all to stick with me. I need I need y'all to stick with me. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's a lot. That's funny. That's funny. Oh, I'm glad he in here. Spoken. Spoken reason. Lame ass nigga. You still, and I see you still on your Instagram talking trash, but let me tell you something about yourself, nigga. You cannot sit here and try to come to me man to man and apologize and do all this extra stuff, then get back on your page and do all this. Just because your name is spoken reasons don't give you a reason to speak, my nigga. Relax. You had your time, nigga. This, this is my time. Like, if you're going to be a man and apologize, nigga, do that wholeheartedly. Don't hold back on certain stuff and then try to get on Instagram and still do all this extra crap putting up being my stuff nigga that was in 2013 how you got a bmi contract that says oh this song was registered in 2013 two years after the song was out stop playing with me nigga anyway <clears throat> we ain't here for all that you know what i'm saying i ain't finna get that little egg lad nigga no attention anyway so what was i saying oh yeah, yeah yeah so after we made the official video right after we made the official video the nigga called me and said, yo, we're going to drop this video February 14th. Now, mind you guys, now, you know, when the nigga say, mind you, here's when stuff started to get real. So the nigga said, we're going to drop it February 14th. It was January. This phone call happened in January. And the nigga told me we're going to drop the official video February 14th because it was since it was a relationship song. It was supposed to be for Valentine's Day. So me personally, I'm like, I don't know how I feel about that, nigga. I want to drop it now, nigga. I want to drop the song now. It's, it, it's, it's, I understand we collabed on the project, but it's my song. Like, And I'm not telling him all this. This is just how I'm feeling. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, I want to drop the song now. So he was like, nah, you can't drop the song, nigga. Because he was like, you got to spread things out and give fans like what they want. So I'm like, man, all right, whatever. Mind you, again, this is January, so I got to wait a whole month to drop the official video. So when I went home, you know what I'm saying, my mom asked me, she was like, what's up? I was like, man, this man wants to drop the video a whole month later, and I don't, want, I don't know what to do till then. And she was like, nigga, you, you, you talented enough, like, just come up with another song. Just until then, do what you do. So that's when I came out with She Ratchet, right? I came out with She Ratchet, while the the official video to asking all them questions was being edited, so I dropped she ratchet because I couldn't wait. Do y'all know? Here, here here's where everything started to get real. Do y'all know when I dropped she ratchet? This nigga seen what was going on, and this nigga called me immediately after I dropped she ratchet and was like, "Yo." Nigga, I know we said, I know I said I want to drop the video on February 14th, but nigga, you on fire, right? This is, these are his words. You're on fire right now, and I want to add, add fuel to the fire, so I'm going to drop, we going to drop asking all them questions, the official video, you know, Sunday. It was a Friday when the nigga told me this. So imagine how I'm feeling, y'all. I'm like, bro, like, I'm excited, nigga. Like, now you want to drop the video. You seen that I put out She Ratchet and it's going crazy. So now you want your name in that buzz. That was his first, that was his intentions. So he like, yo, no, I'm going to drop I'm, I'm gonna drop it. We're going to drop it um Sunday. 
So I'm like, all right, cool. Now here, now here's the screwed up part. This is where everything started getting ugly. Um, mind you now, after the first asking all them questions came out, and then I dropped shoot ratchet, my Twitter is going crazy. I need y'all to, I need y'all to, you know, I need y'all to bear with me. After we dropped the first. After I dropped the original one by myself and she ratchet, my Twitter is going crazy. Like my followers are jumping. I'm getting like 300, 400,000 followers in like two weeks. Like, and it just kept jumping. So I'm on fire right now. And this nigga see all that and decides to take advantage of it. So Friday. Whatever. He told me he was going to drop it. Nigga, tell me why when the black people do this, nigga, tell me why, <laughs> mind you now, mind you now, tell me why Saturday I get a text message from a girl that says, yo, good, um, good job on the video with you and, 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 and spoken reasons. It was really entertaining. This is Saturday. Nigga, the video this nigga, hold on, let me. That nigga said every little detail. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Look, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's really a lot. This is why it's gonna clear up a lot of stuff because there's a lot of stuff that he ain't telling y'all. This nigga doing interviews with you know little little podcasts and things like that, and he he's saying things like, "Oh, we had our indifferences." No, nigga, you indifferent. We ain't had nothing, nigga. You indifferent, nigga. Don't be trying to tell the the, the little the small truth, nigga. Anyway. So again, the video was supposed to drop Sunday and it was Friday when he told me he wanted to drop it. Saturday, I get a text message saying, hey, good job on the video with you and Spoken Reason. I text, this, I text this girl like, yo, what are you talking about? Like that video ain't supposed to be out till Sunday. So me being stupid, y'all, here's the dumb part. Me being stupid, I call, I tried to call this nigga. And you know, y'all, this nigga here, but I called this nigga and this nigga said, I said, yo, bro, what's up, bro? What happened? I thought we was supposed to drop the video on Sunday. He said, oh, yeah, you know, um, uh. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had I had ended up dropping because you on fire right now. We had to do it. I couldn't wait. This, that, and the third. So I'm like, I I uh I will send me the video so I can, you know, so I can um post it on my page. He was like, this nigga, this is what the nigga told me, y'all. This nigga said, Oh, I right, bet, but I gotta send it to you when I get home. I'm at the movies right now. Now I need all y'all to pause with me and just stare into the camera. Stare into the camera. This nigga dropped my video a day before it was supposed to drop. And when I called this nigga and told me to send the video, the nigga looked me in my face and said, I'm at the movies right now. I'm going to have to send it to you when I get home. Now, I'm going to let y'all, before we move on to the next portion of the story, I'm going to let y'all converse amongst each other and y'all tell me what y'all think so far of, of that whole little situation. So just go ahead and little talk. Just go ahead and talk now now. Now, I'm telling y'all this for a reason. This nigga literally looked me in my I'm at the movies right now, nigga. I'll send you your video when I get home. Go ahead. Go ahead. Moving on. So we're going to move on. Now that y'all had a time to let that digest, because it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. Let that. Let that digest. Now. Let's 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 recap. He flew me out there, did an interview. Show me how to flag other niggas for taking my video down. For all the people that's just now joining, 
The nigga flew me out there. This nigga stole my money. Flew me out there. We did an interview. And he told me we was going to drop the video uh, a month later. I made she ratchet. The nigga called me that same month in January and said, we're going to drop it in two days. It was a Friday. We're going to drop it on a Sunday. The nigga called. I called the nigga Saturday and said, this girl said she's seen the video. What's up? The nigga said, yeah, I had to drop it. Nigga, you on fire right now. I said, okay, well, nigga, let's be on fire. Let, nigga, let's be on fire together. That's what, what, what are you talking about? Like, don't tell me the, the video on fire. I know it is. Because clearly you posted it and people are telling me, nigga, I ain't even seen the official video yet, nigga. I ain't even seen it. So anyway, this nigga, move, we, we're moving on. So after he tells me this, again, my Twitter is on fire now. My followers are going crazy. So me being stupid and him knowing things, this nigga knows whoever drops the video first, That's who it belongs to. That's the originator. That's the YouTube rules. That ain't my rules or his rules. That's the YouTube rules. So that's why I couldn't sue the nigga or take it down. I could flag every other video, but not that video. Tell me why. Because that nigga uploaded it first, man. Now, it gets worse. Me being naive, I'm like, all right, bro, send it to me when you get home. I'm all excited and I'm all excited and crap. So I post the link from this nigga page. I send, I take this nigga link from here. That's how he got all the views. The link that I, the link that I, I, I posted his YouTube link to my Twitter. And this was when I was like, the, my Twitter was in its prime of going like crazy. So I tweeted his YouTube link and I was like, yo, everybody... Everybody, yo, go check out the new video. They flooding his joint. Nigga, I wake up in the morning super excited like, yo, all right, let me call this nigga because he still hasn't sent the video. My nigga, I called this nigga and the phone was off. The phone was off. The phone was off. Like, I tried to call this nigga like, and I couldn't reach him. Then... The nigga had this assistant call me. And I said, yo, my nigga, like, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, tell that nigga to send me the video. Like, what's going on? This assist this nigga assistant says, oh, his number got leaked. So he had to change numbers. Nigga, give me the new number. It's that simple. It's that simple. If a nigga, if a nigga number changed, give me the new number. This nigga assistant told me that the nigga number got leaked, so he had to change it. And to, to throw a little sprinkle of razzle dazzle on there, the nigga said it usually that that happens often. Nigga. I don't often whoop your ass. All right. So, told the nigga that the, the, the nigga number got leaked and couldn't get in contact with him. So, I figured, all right, I see this nigga tweeting. So, I tweet the nigga spoken reason. I'm like, yo, bro, send me my video. Nigga, what's up? That nigga said, yo, this nigga tweeted me back and said, oh, snap. Um, I got you soon as my partner get back with my laptop. I ain't got my laptop on me right now, so I'm gonna have to send it to you. Nigga, you tweeting. Send me my video. So then, now mind you guys, I don't know anything about the internet. I don't know nothing. I don't know how to, I don't know how to rip videos. I don't know how to do nothing. All I know is, this nigga dropped the video super early. I sent all my fans over there that night and the day of being excited. And now he's getting hella views first. All, them, all that traffic going to him. So this nigga know what he doing. So damn, I'm like, so my partner reached out to me and was like, that's why y'all see, if, if and the proof is there. That's why if y'all go look at the video on his page and you on mine, you'll 
you'll see that they are day they are day behind. Like if we're supposed to drop it at the same time, we set the we set the time and the day. Why is it off? Why is mine dropped the next day and yours dropped there? So anyway, so my friend reaches out to me. He was like, bro, I can rip videos. Do you want me to rip it? And, you know, then you just have that video. I'm like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, cool. So the nigga, he, my homeboy ripped it, then sent me my own video. I posted it. But by this time, everybody is still, and now I have to go back to my followers like, yo, now look at it on this page. Niggas is like, nah, nigga, we already seen it. You funny. What's next? So I'm like, all right. So this nigga flooding all the views. Everybody, this nigga says spoken treasons. That's funny. All right. So there's, but wait, there's more. We'll be right back after these commercials. <clears throat> this sport that I'm, this, this shirt that I'm walking is called Wealthy Peasants. Y'all make sure y'all, you know what I'm saying? Rock with that, man. Wealthy peasants mean to live as a king with the heart of a peasant. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Stay humble. You know, humble by nature. You know what I'm saying? Rich in spirit, humble by nature. That's just what the peasants for the kid. That's why I love this clothing brand. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my little brother, Philip Hudson. You know what I'm saying? I love you, boy. Little egg lad, boy. You know what I'm saying? Here, yo. Here, yo. That junk crazy. Okay. We got about 10 more seconds of this commercial.